Hi guys, this is Cindy and I'm going to attempt to do a flip through of this book. Usually my first filming of the flip through is when I notice all the stuff I forgot to do. So we'll see how this goes. It's a Halloween junk journal. I made it for the October one of a kind junk journal challenge and it had to have uh, 13 different elements and uh, just so many of each one. So it's it could have been really chunky, but it ended up not being too bad, so that's good. So anyway, it measures six by nine and a quarter. I have different elements collaged on the front. I got a spider web and a sticker about Blackbird Cider. Here's a stamped image of a spider. This is a napkin I put on there. It's talking about elixir, and then I put a little bottle of poison. That's a Tim Holtz stamp. It's got a one and three quarters to two inch spine, and I covered it with this uh, it was wire ribbon. I just took the wire out and it was perfect size for this um, spine. And the back of it, it had some damage with the tape of the book jacket. had kind of ripped off some of the paper, so I just put this uh, tool on it and I need to glue a little bit down. But you can get an idea of what it looks like there. So I'll glue that back down. So anyway, that's that. And then I put a hair tie and post closure. Okay, now. Um, let me just go over the challenge real quick so I won't have to keep repeating myself. We had to do a cover, two signatures, three belly bands, four flip-flop things, five tucks, six embellished paper clips. All of them had to be different. Seven tassels, charms, and dangles, eight stencil stamped or doodled pages, nine collage elements with at least three different items on the collage, ten pockets, at least three different, eleven tags, at least three different, twelve tabs, at least three different, and, um... 13 journaling cards, different sizes and shapes and stuff like that. And here is my tassel I made for the outside. I put a lot of chains in there. And it was just representing, you know, the uh, ghosts rattling their chains in the wall. And um, like I said in another video, the black kind of reminded me of spider legs. So anyway, also I put uh, dangles on the signature uh, threads. So anyway, let's start looking pocket made out of scrapbook paper and I covered the inside with music paper. This is just a collage tag and if you want more details about the um, journaling cards and the pockets and everything um, you can see some of the other videos. I won't just keep, keep repeating myself. Um, this is just a bag for Halloween treats. There's one of the charms. I want some um, dangle uh, ribbon at the bottom. You can't really see it. There we go. Um, washi tape. This is just some fairly thin paper, so I just put two like small ones. This is from a Halloween book. I got most of the color pages like that are from one single book. Tim Holtz stamp on that coffee dyed paper. We got yellow um, ledger paper. This is some scrapbook paper, and there's one of the um, paper clips. Book from the page from the book with a ribbon tab on it. This is. Um, we call that stuff tracing paper and I put a stamp on it. Here's a belly band and this is just a booklet I made out of some scrapbook paper and a bunch of um, torn pages. That same paper I used to make the um, booklet I used as a little page in the book. Coffee dyed ledger. This is a tuck made out of cardstock and just uh, napkins and different thing, uh, words put on there and then there's the journaling card I made. It was a coaster at one time. Put paper on the back, added some different collage elements. This is just a green paper that was in some book I bought and I thought well the colors go really well with some of the things I'm doing so I included it. A pocket made out of a book, an atlas uh, index. Here's a collage tag. Page. Center of the signature. Of course, this is the back side. Here's one of the flip flops, and it's made out of another index page, it looks like. And I just folded it up, rounded the corners, decorated it with different collage, and there's a sticker. And then I put these uh, tags in it that are made from rub ons. And then there's places here you can write if you want. <clears throat> This is another one of the paper clips. And <clears throat> since uh, this book had a lot of book pages, 
I um, <clears throat> tried to leave all these sort of pages blank and I sprayed them with some uh, watered down brown paint so they're not necessarily white. Like you can see the difference here. But um, I wanted like these book pages. I just like the picture so much so I didn't want to cover them up a lot. So whoever gets this, you know, if they want to put their pictures and things. I just think I can see all sorts of pictures of kids on, in their trick-or-treat costumes here. So I tried to keep um, the pages for journaling intact and then the other pages can be used of course for like I said pictures and things so this is he took me out of some of that spider web like I have it on the cover I have a black one on the cover and this is a white one on some cardstock this was just cut from that Halloween book and I backed it on some blank paper put a little washi on it I did cover up this book page if there was a spot there that I thought would be okay I went ahead and covered it up but just left it for the owner to uh, cover most of it. Scrapbook paper to make a pocket, and there's a sticker and just a collage journaling card. I sewed this um, bias tape, I think, on it and just stuck it at the top to make a tab. I made this pocket of book page and folded it up to be like a candy cone, is what they called it, and put some collage things on it and this tag. I show in, I think the video right before this, it's in the kind of like in the middle of that video, how to make these paper cones. There's a paper tab, cloth tab with a dangle. Another one of these Halloween treat bags and just a blank tag in that. I hear my air conditioner going again. I don't know how loud that is on video. These tucks are made out of uh, cupcake wrappers collage journaling card blank on the back and this is my favorite paper clip he's a foam stamp he's on a black punch out from cardstock and he's just a little paper clip so those of course can be can be moved wherever the owner wants them to be moved to this is another one of the flip out things you can write on it and another one of those candy uh cane cone i call them candy canes but the candy cones this was cut from that halloween book i just backed it with some yellow paper just some uh, trim greeting card stamp lace tab this is a belly band i had just had this pattern it was for a tag but i made it into a belly band this is a book page like journaling booklet you can write on the inside it's collage on the front and the back Got a ribbon tab there. This is book page. Another one, the paper clips. Stamp. Another one of those pockets. I, if you're interested in this book, you definitely need to watch the other videos because I go into a lot more detail on all of these elements. Um, I just didn't want this to be a repeat. I just wanted it to be a final flip through. This is a fun thing, it flips out. So you put pictures here, notes or whatever, and same here, and then you've got a place for a, a pocket for a tag and stuff. And I got fabric on this. And also I glued it on so it's a side pocket as well. And this is a bag made out of an envelope, and that was cut from that book, Halloween book. This is the third signature. It's got cloth tab, pocket, journaling card, belly band just made out of different elements, glued onto some um, cardstock, and this is a journaling card, collaged. Got some of that tool on it. Greeting card. Ribbon with a tab. A pocket made out of an Artsology uh, journaling card, a collage card. And I just put a cluster on there, a fabric cluster. Little booklet made out of um, playing cards with blank places to, places to write. And the hinge is made out of a silk um, leaf. Here's a pocket. That's some of that scrapbook paper I showed you earlier. I made booklets out of. It was part of a calendar I got like 12 years ago. 
and every day it had some pictures that you could use in your scrapbook. So just another collage journaling card. Ugh, my lighting is terrible. I finally figured out why my lighting is so much worse than this room. It's like, duh, ding -a -ling. The other room I moved from had fluorescent lights as well as the light overhead, you know, the center light. This one doesn't have the fluorescent lights, so it's a struggle. I'm not sure what I'm gonna have to do about it, but one thing, take advantage of that light there. This is a um, stamped pocket made out of book page. Another one of these flip outs. This was just in my stash. It was how to make ghosts, I think, out of um, fabrics, or what do they call it? They don't say what the fabric is. Oh, cheesecloth. <laughs> right there. It wasn't listed here, but it's there. It's made out of cheesecloth. So anyway, it tells you how to do that. So I just included it in here. And this is also a side pocket, even though I didn't put anything in there. Another candy cone. It's just decorate. It was made from one of the book pages, and I just put different elements on it as well. Okay. This is another one of the flip outs, and that little bat's holding it closed. So you just kind of peel him off a little bit. Opens up, but you can write, and then you got a little trick or treat message there. You can write here as well. This was a stamp of a gate and the fence. So I thought it might be kind of like a cemetery, or it could be the gate to the haunted house. Some ribbon. Another one of these tucks. I just made a booklet out of some leftover ledger paper and put some of that bias tape on the top. Stamp. And I made another candy cone. I, this is the one I made showing how I made it, and I just clipped it on with this paper clip with the dangle. Same way on this, just an extra one of those bags in case you want to use it. And this is what the tops of those bags look like, but I just used my deco scissors to cut them off, so because the flap is in the front. So, stamp here. And another pocket with some little tags. One that gets lost down in here. It's got a poison bottle on it. And this is some of that scrapbook paper that was the calendar. And I just fussy cut it out a little bit. Glued it here as a pocket. These are two of the Artsology um, collage journaling cards. I just edge punch the corner and put them in here. And they make some journaling cards. So anyway, this is the Halloween journal. If you're interested, it's gonna be for sale in my Etsy shop, Books by Burt. So I thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys later. Bye.